I'm Dr. Shelley Carty, a psychologist at the Crew Center, where we work with students on mental health issues. Now, we all know college can be stressful. And as faculty and staff members, you are often the first responders for students when they're in distress. And there are a lot of variations in what that can look like. Um, some of the most concerning signs of a student in crisis may be receiving an email from a student who is threatening taking their own life. Maybe you see highly disruptive behavior or very intense emotions that just don't seem to fit the situation. On the other hand, you might notice more subtle signs like missing class or there's a change in their academic performance. They're not doing as well, depressed mood, or they're falling asleep frequently in class. Okay, let's say you notice some of these signs. Well, what do you do next? I would say first, um, it's really important for you to manage your own anxiety, if you have any. Well, let's say you do. Take a few deep breaths. You wanna calm down any sort of fight or flight response you might be having in this crisis situation. Um, this can help you a lot because it's going to allow you to be present with the student as well as be a better problem solver and advocate for them. Next, approach the student in a very calm, sensitive, and reassuring manner. You know, often students, when they're in distress like this, they feel out of control. So your calm, supportive approach is going to help them feel like things can actually get better. Okay, next, um, if possible, Try to move that conversation to a more private area. Um, that's just gonna help with protecting their privacy. Um, something we always wanna keep in the back of our mind. Once you're alone with the student, um, obviously ask them about what's going on, right? Express your concern in non-judgmental terms that focus on their behavior that you've noticed. So for example, you might say, I've been worried about you because I've noticed you've been absent from class and seem withdrawn, and I'm hoping we can talk about this. Um, I'd like to help. If the student's willing to talk to you about their current situation, listen patiently and with the desire to understand. So the way you're gonna communicate this understanding is by repeating back the essence of what you've heard. Try to include both the content and the feelings and then also follow up by asking for confirmation of your assessment. So it might sound like this. Sounds like you've been a good student in the past and are feeling frustrated and scared that you're not doing as well as expected. Is that right? Once you have some clarity about the student's situation and have determined that they're not in imminent danger, really important to make sure that's not the case, then you can call the crew center and ideally you're gonna do this with the student. You're gonna, you and the student can then consult with one of us here at the crew center and we'll determine best options which would likely include connecting like to our services. But we might determine like there are other services that would actually be better on campus and we'll make the appropriate referrals for that. If however the student refuses to seek services with your help and again is not as in imminent danger, we encourage you to call us anyway. Um, call us on the student's behalf and share as much information as you have about the student. And then you and whomever you're speaking with here um, will determine next best steps in, under those circumstances. So that might include instructing you to call campus or Morgantown Police. We might also decide to reach out to the student's emergency contact person if the student is refusing to be assessed by us or another mental health professional in the community let's say, like a, a doctor at um, Ruby Hospital Emergency Department. Okay, but what if, however, the student is in a life-threatening situation? We've got that imminent danger, such as they're in the process of attempting suicide or saying they're gonna do that as soon as they leave our presence. Maybe they're in an unsafe situation or experiencing a medical or psychiatric emergency, such as a possible overdose. Okay, it is imperative that you call 911. Another option is you could call University Police at 293-COPS, um, that's 2677, but stay with the student until help arrives. Um, they will arrive quickly. 
And once the student is being attended to by a mental health or medical professional or police officer, the final step we ask you to do is to complete a care report by going to the CARE Team website. That's careteam.wvu.edu.